it is I, Hewlett, live from Cannes, France. Nope, from the basement. My wife's the one in Cannes, just thought I'd point that out. Anyways, while she's been away, I have been drinking a lot of coffee and doing some thinking and tinkering along the lines of Upgrade Required. Upgrade Required is this, um, uh, well, it was a film, but now it's kind of like a project to get my friend Q uh, set up with a cyborg suit uh, that could serve as an inspiration to others and also as a template for others to create uh, technologies that can overcome disabilities. One of the first stages of creating this cyborg suit for Q was an exonet. And the exonet is uh, Q's ingenious idea of creating a system whereby he can move his own head again using technology, because he doesn't have the physical strength. Someone has to come in and physically move his head for him. Forget that. There is technology that will that will allow him to do that. So he's come up with this amazing system of sort of pulleys and cables and motors and a harness system, which I am unable to make. But I thought, wait a second, I've got this robotic arm, which is surprisingly dexterous given you know its sort of low cost and ease of build, um, and a lot of fun to play with. I might say, I'm gonna mess with you. I don't think so, because I got a robo arm and it's gonna claw you. I thought, is there a way I could prototype with this? So I've had a long conversation with him. He's given me some great uh, input and ideas that will um, uh, allow me to sort of hopefully prototype something with that. But in the meantime, I have a child and I have to look after him and keep him busy. So what do I do? I break out my Lego Mindstorms. Sorry, his Lego Mindstorms. And we start tinkering. And we came up with this amazing little torture device for my McKay doll. McKay action figure, I should say. Yeah. Action. Serious. Action. More like an inaction figure. I mean, what does he do? Get fatter. That turns his head for him. And I just, I love that there's technology out there that allows me to, with an iPad, program something that has such a direct impact on the little robotic system that I, that I built. So very, very simple. Uh, like, literally, laughably simple. And uh, Q did not look happy with it um, because it, it also looks incredibly painful. But I wanted to, to just try something, get something, you know, physically up and running. And it was really inspiring. So um, I'm hoping it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to do the same thing to you guys as it has to the kid, as it has to me, um, and get you thinking and tinkering along the upgrade required lines as well. So uh, kick back, have a look, and please let me know if you've got ideas, if you've got contacts, if you've got technologies you need us to look at or you'd like us to look at um, or robotic arms that we can play with. Um, please let us know in the comments and um, I will be uh, revisiting this again many, many times, I'm sure. So until we geek again, cheerio! You got the iPad here. I'm going to hit this to download it. it. Comes to there, links at me, and then turns the head to the left. Turns the head back forward. Turns the head to the right. And then comes back to forward. There you go.